welcome back to the Evie Legacy Challenge. Look who is at the door on Winterfest. So Ivy decided to throw a small dinner party for Winterfest with just her immediate family. Even though I really wanted to invite Brooklyn, this girl here that she met last episode, um, I figured it was kind of unrealistic that she would invite her because she literally just met her. She just doesn't know her that well, but she autonomously came here. So I'm just like, okay, I guess we'll invite you in, girl. I'm really excited. Um, so because Ivy grew up in a household where they just didn't really go all out for holidays, she's just such a happy-go-lucky sim. I feel like she would be one of those sims who's obsessed with holidays, especially Winterfest. So she went all out, ignored this little glitch on her skirt, but like overall, her outfit is still very cute. Um, and I feel like it looks so cute, especially with her green plant sim skin. <laughs> but yeah, she fully decorated and everything. Here is the outside. We've got the lights, the garland. We've got all the little um, figures over there. And then inside we've got some small decorations here and there throughout the house in the living room and everything. We've got cards hanging up. And then one of the spare bedrooms, she just turned into a complete Winterfest room because why not? She has the space for it. So I also got one of these undecorated trees because I thought for once, maybe we can actually decorate it with her family instead of just getting the pre-decorated ones that I usually get. But first things first, let's invite Brooklyn in because I'm so happily surprised to see her here. And ooh, I gotta get her a gift. So I got gifts for her immediate family members, these books, and then I got a candle over one of them. But I wasn't expecting to see Brooklyn, so I don't really have a gift for her. What if we gave her one of our moon petals? That would be kind of cute. I don't know if she'll like it, but we could try. Or should we give her something we grew from our garden? I don't know, cause I'm not really sure what she's into. So I don't want to give her something and then her not even like it. Cause that's always depressing when the Sims don't like the gifts you give them. I think we'll try the moon petal. So give a Winterfest gift. Moon petal, hopefully she gives one and not all three in the stack. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, and also we'll be meeting Raven, her brother's girlfriend, at this party. I didn't get her a gift either. I'll probably give her one of these potions. Please like the gift. Please like it. My heart breaks when the Sims don't like their gifts. Does she like it? Does she like it? <gasps> she does! Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, what if we took a little picture with her? Because Ivy is looking so cute in her outfit. They are so cute. I know they're not even a couple yet. Look at how cute Brooklyn's teeth are, by the way. She has kind of like a little, I don't know what you call this, buck teeth. But she looks like a little chipmunk or squirrel and I love her. I'm going to go ahead and give the other gifts to her family members. So we got her mom a little book this unlikely series of coincidences book seems like a supernatural one so i thought it would be perfect vesper is looking uncharacteristically happy and joyful maybe she is finally getting into the winterfest spirit for once <laughs> oh and she liked her gift too yay for her stepdad wes we got him a candle i know that's kind of random but like i kind of feel like he would like it i don't know i just saw it and i was like hmm it was on Plopsy. It's this one right here. Tempting Tulip. I don't know. It's kind of random, but I hope he likes it anyways. There's not that many options for gifts, so. I invited her aunts as well and uncles. Here, Wes. What do you think? He likes it. Yay. Oh my God. Three for three so far. Let's hope her brother likes his book that we got him. What is this pile of trash? Oh, hey, it's um, Raven, our brother's girlfriend, our future sister-in-law. All right. We'll give the swift and the angriest a book to Thorn. Here you go, little bro. Does he like it? 
<laughs> he does. Yay, everybody like their gifts. Well, we still have to give one to Raven, and we should probably actually formally introduce ourselves. Where did she go? Oh, shoot. I think our cow plant is trying to feed someone. I'm going to, before anything else, come and feed it so nobody ends up getting eaten by our cow plant, which, by the way, I now have a name for. Thanks to Shane Zeno Monk for leaving the comment for a name suggestion of Mixie, named after his former pet, who he used to call Mixie the cow. So I'm going to name this cow plant Mixie and then I figured it needs a friend because it might be kind of lonely out here with just these regular plants and trees. So we have so many cow plant berries, why don't we just have a second cow plant? We can name the second one Miltank after the Pokemon. Merry Winterfest Mixie, here's your meat. <laughs> Please don't eat my party guests. Thank you. All right, so here is Raven, I'm gonna come and do a polite introduction to her. She's a spellcaster. Shout out to my subscriber, Erin B, for making her. She is gorgeous. And look, Raven, our aunt, is now an elder. I'm so sad. Hi, Raven. Hi. So nice to meet you. Love your cow plant tattoo. Um, okay, so that introduction looks like it went well. And let's try to give her a gift. I didn't plan a gift for her. I kind of forgot, but she is a spellcaster, so I figured maybe one of these potions from her grandma Viola would be good. Which one are we not going to use? I never use these because I kind of forget. One of our potions of good fortune, because we have two. And that seems like a really nice gift to give someone, right? Hey, boo. <laughs> what was that? Barner's a torque. What is that music? Oh, somebody put on a movie. Turn that off. Let's put on some holiday music. Do you like it? She did! Oh my god, yay! Success with all of the gifts! Oh wow, the plum pudding she made is already completely eaten. <laughs> um, I guess I'm gonna have her do a grand meal so we end up having a good party. But we gotta make sure it's something vegetarian, even though the thing is, <laughs> Ivy doesn't eat now that she's a plant sim she only eats like sunlight <laughs> so she doesn't even really need to eat this um we'll probably have her do it just because but i want to do a custom one make a custom grand meal i have this nut roast that i feel like is perfect because it's vegetarian um and it looks very winter fest themed oh hey it's the other girl she met last time marisol so I haven't um, posted the last episode yet at the time I'm recording this, so I haven't seen any comments on like what you guys thought between um, these two girls, but I am like pretty much dead set on her just being friends with Marisol. Oh, it's Father Winter. And um, being romantic with Brooklyn, who is over here dancing like crazy to this Winterfest music. What a cutie. Hey Marisol, what is up? She's probably home from her little Winterfest celebration now. Um, I'm pretty sure Father Winter's in here. Oh, Brooklyn's gonna leave. Well, it was so nice to see you and I'm obsessed with you. Anyways, <laughs> we gotta decorate this tree with her family. I think um, Father Winter actually came here and started putting gifts because look how much bigger these present piles got. Aw, Marisol's being cute with Father Winter. Hurry up and make this nut roast. It's getting so late. <laughs> this is kind of a dinner party, but like half the guests are vampires and they don't even eat. Ivy doesn't even eat now. I'll probably have her eat it anyways, just for the tradition. Aw, what the heck? Not our brother being adorable with his girlfriend just dancing over here. They are so cute, right? Oh, <gasps> no. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Wes. He must have eaten the nut cake, so he's puking because he's a vampire. He just ran in there so fast to puke. Wow, this nut roast is huge, dude. All right, um, right, I'm just going to eat a serving. I'm not even going to call to a meal because I don't want all the vampires getting sick. So eat if you want, but like, <laughs> I'm not going to force you to. Did somebody else just come here? Um, Caleb, are you relevant to us at all? I don't think so i mean he's friends with our vampire relatives but like you have nothing to do with ivy 
Okay, and it doesn't fill her hunger at all because of the fact that she's actually a plant sim. But let's come quickly chat with Father Winter. I just want her to have the best holiday ever. So we can come and ask for a present. Oh no, we're running out of time. We're not gonna have time to decorate this tree. All right, well she liked her gift. It was a karaoke machine. What? We're probably gonna sell that. So thanks for the money. And let's come and decorate this with some red and gold ornaments. I'm just gonna do like her immediate family. Love how fast all the vampires can arrive in here. <laughs> Aw, Father Winter loves Wes apparently. Hey Aunt Raven, I guess she's just in here watching because she's not even part of this decorating. Bye Marisol, it's nice seeing you. We're gonna do a red and white modern, or a, let's do a white and gold starburst topper. I never do these like manually decorating things. We'll do red and gold ribbon, and we'll try the tree skirt. We'll do a white and gold snowflake one. I feel like the tree skirts never work for me. Yay, went to successful. But I'm still gonna continue until this tree is done. What a cute little family. This is like literally their first time ever doing like a family holiday tradition. <laughs> I swear. I mean, maybe they did Spooky Fest because that's the one holiday Vesper likes. But I don't think they've ever decorated a tree before together. I love that um, Ivy is just introducing holiday cheer to her really dark family <laughs> all right i don't think the tree skirt's gonna work so we'll just cancel it out and let's light the tree yay it's beautiful <laughs> as leaves just start squirting out of her hands okay and i think probably the last couple things we want to do even though the holiday already ended we're gonna open this holiday cracker because i never do these oh that was cute and what does it say? Oh my god, so on point for her. We got something related to vampires. It says she got a special collectible plushie, and there's a joke on the paper. What do vampires sing on New Year's Eve? Odd fang sign, really? <laughs> what was the gift? Oh, it's like a void critter stuffed animal. That is cute. Now I'm gonna have her just open a couple of these presents. And I will end this party. Send everyone home since it's almost four in the morning. <laughs> the holiday's officially over, but that doesn't mean she can't open some of the presents she got from Father Winter. We got a turquoise, okay. Whatever that was, she didn't like. <laughs> it was a large pet poop. Well, someone obviously pranked her. And a pile of sports equipment. <laughs> And we'll open one more. What'd you get? A just for me bath basket. Okay. <laughs> I think she honestly had a really great winter fest, so I'm gonna send her to bed. Wait. She's actually starving and it's nighttime, so unfortunately there's no sun. She's gonna have to come and absorb. Ooh, the cow plant is hungry again. We're gonna come feed her so she doesn't try to kill any random strangers passing by on the streets. <laughs> And then we are gonna absorb solar energy from these plants. We'll just do a couple of them so she can last th through the night and then she can get some sun in the morning. Oh my God, is it the first snow? Aw, I think it is. I guess Evergreen Harbor doesn't snow that much. It's like a Winterfest miracle. They actually got some snow. It's the next morning and Ivy's just out here photosynthesizing in the sun while making a snow angel. She's so precious. <laughs> and when she's done with that, we will have her tend the garden and do all her little responsibilities she has to do. Then I'm hoping we could maybe hang out with Brooklyn again. Oh no, what is this text from Brooklyn? I think she accidentally like butt texted her, butt dialed slash texted her. That's funny. <laughs> what? I've never seen this. Draw a heart in snow. Draw a star in snow. Draw a smiley in snow. Has this always been a thing? We're drawing a heart in snow. What? 
<gasps> Stop. There's no way this has always been a thing. We're drawing all of them. Draw the star. I can't be the only one who never knew this was a thing. Right? Aww. Draw a smiley in snow. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And her footprint looks like a nose. <laughs> I definitely see Ivy as one of those sims who would leave her Winterfest decorations up until like after New Year's, so we're gonna keep them up for now. Ooh, she's feeling flirty, snowy sentimentality from drawing a heart. Okay, well in that case, send a- oh, sorry about that last message, I butt texted you, I hate this ducking phone. <laughs> right as I was about to send her a flirty text, she says that. Oh my gosh. We're gonna send her a flirty text and we'll pretend it's like a reply back to whatever she just said. Something like, your butt can dial me anytime. No, just kidding. Oh my God, wait, we just became good friends with her through the flirty text, okay. <gasps> she wants to go out on a date. She got the hint, I guess, and we're going all the way to Mount Komorebi apparently, sure. <laughs> I'll go anywhere with you, Brooklyn, oh my God. Okay, so here we are, and it's happy hour. Nice. Is she about to, like, hug her? It's, it says she's running inside, but it looked like she was about to hug her. We're gonna come get some happy hour drinks. I don't know about a plant sim having alcohol. That might not mix well, so let's just, instead of getting her plain water, we'll, we'll spice it up with some sparkling water. <laughs> I don't think um, plants plus alcohol is a good mix, so. Oh, I think the date ended. Did she leave? All right, we're gonna have to manually invite her back because obviously we're having a glitch. I hate when that happens. Maybe she left because it's full on blizzarding and freezing out. Okay, she is on her way. Here she comes. She was walking real slow because she was walking through a blizzard. <laughs> hey, Brooklyn. Okay, so we are going to Start out strong by complimenting her appearance. Where are you going, girl? What? Okay. <laughs> Brooklyn was like, who is this man? Get away from her. Yay! Wait, get out of her combo to this dude. Um, let's try to discuss interests. I don't want to go too crazy. She just got the romance skill. Apparently she didn't have it before from her last relationship. Um, let's try to flirt just a little bit. We're taking things slow. <laughs> Do we even know all her traits? We should probably get to know her. And then we could try flirting again. Like how there's all these people, but they're only focused on each other. Get your hands out of my screen, dude. I'm trying to look at these cuties and all these people are in the way. Yay, they got a romance bar! Alright, what if we slow dance because listen to this music. I like how there's a DJ booth here, but there's also just like this really sweet, nice music playing. Aww. Get out of my way! <laughs> Aww. They're so cute! <laughs> I don't think she thought she would ever find love again. It's saying goodbye. No! We can't say goodbye. Well, the part probably needs to end pretty soon. Uh, but I want to do a first kiss. Confess attraction. What if they had their first kiss in a blizzard? I'm kind of scared though, because her ex-girlfriend died of heat. What if we end up having Brooklyn die of cold? Yay! This is going so smoothly. Oh no, night night is starting here. It is definitely time to exit this bar. Let's have them. Where is a cute place? Ooh, the lights just turned on. Where is a cute place for their first kiss? How about right here under these lights? Look how flirty she is and she glows because she's a plant sim. Okay, okay, okay. Pause! Wait! <laughs> Wait for me! Oh my god, this girl better not walk by and ruin my moment. And she did walk by and ruin it, but that's okay. Oh my 
my goodness. Should we ask her to be our girlfriend already? Or is that like a lot? I don't care. <laughs> when you know, you know, okay. Punky. Love them. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna wrap the part up here i hope you enjoyed and if you did please leave a like comment subscribe share the video and follow me on all my social media i hope you guys have an amazing day and i hope we'll see you next time bye oh my goodness <laughs>